Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bridge Bridge Souls. Today, I have level 200 Kugas standing right in front of us, and I also get a Ichigo tag team Ichigo, and a level 150 Chujiro, which is a tag team group I have at the moment. So the purpose for today is I want to do a quick review about this Koga, especially I want to see how he does in PvP against Blue Kampachi. Everybody knows Blue Kampachi is a PvP god. Well, I want to see if this green Koga is the answer for Blue Kampachi. So without further delay, let's look at my configuration for this Koga. First, look at the stats. I have 30% normal attack damage, 75% increased strong attack damage, and uh, this, in this build, I'm going to first run a very quick raid to see how he does with 75% increase of strong attack, and then afterwards, I will set up, set up my other accessories to then do the PvP. And then you see like I have level, I have 110 increase attack. So very quick, I shoot the uh, accessory. 30% attack, Yuki Dispenser, 30% attack. Purple Dispenser and 30% attack, which is tension time. And uh, for the souling, all 25% soul trade. And unfortunately today, I don't have, uh, we don't have a uh, green captain, right? So, everybody knows Kuga has has double killer skills. So I want to use him against a captain in this spear in this raid. Did I just pick up Kisuke? Oh my god, damage is so it's messy. Uh, let's check out the first strong attack. What's the damage? One shot, the, the, the minion just gone. The third strong attack. The third strong attack, which is. Which is pretty, like, not, not full screen, and uh, it's. It's not as strong as a sword. But the vortex is good. Oh, oh, I got hit already. As you see, like my normal attack, which is in average 2,500 damage. Keep in mind that I don't have any normal attack damage increase accessory. Oh, sorry, so soul link. All my soul link is for the strong attack. And his first strong attack is really good, which is a pushback at the multiple hit. That's the third strong attack. It's not very good. It should like just smash out the entry level enemy straight away, but it, it doesn't. But keep in mind, Koga, his second strong attack and third strong attack inflict weaken. So and then his first strong attack inflict burn. So. It will with burn and uh, weaken. It could potentially increase his attack even further. As you see, the the senior soul reaper is dead with just one hit of first strong attack. But somehow, if I use the third strong attack, let's try this one. Got it down. But uh, I remember in the last stage. The senior, the senior soul reaper like this one, is still alive after third strong attack. Let's see like if it's case. Let's wait for ten seconds to see if the third strong attack is able to wipe off that senior soul reaper. Because the first one can wipe off with one hit. Uh, it does. Okay, that's good. I believe the next stage will be the boss fight and where I can test out my 
my special to see like if I'm able to win, win shot this key scan. Probably not. Keep an eye on the damage. Here we go. It's pretty much try again. So 10k for just one hit. I believe it's a multiple hit. Three minutes. It it should be less than three minutes because I'll wait for cup for more than ten seconds for the third strong attack. Recharge. Now let me update his configuration and pre and head to the PvP. I have this captain rope and uh, replace his captain link with full damage deduction and see if he's answer for blue Kampachi. Here we go. 20% green gel. And uh, be aware of this. Rare Metallic Change Rukia is also in green attribute. So if you have Koga, you may consider about buying this green Rukia for a shot. So because he can do the inheritance zones, that this Rukia can boost this Koga's ability even further. I hope this video you found it helpful, which can help you with deciding whether or not you want to keep you want to summon on this banner. So we have 72% damage deduction and uh, yet 30% normal attack increase, devastation 40% stamina increase 120% and increase special pressure 20% and attack 80%. So you see like his base stem is not great 995 but uh, with the boost he's able to reach over 2000 stamina and his attack, which is over a thousand, I think 1200, and spirit pressure is around 780. So this is the Koga, and let's head to the PvP and looking for Kampachi. And if you, I don't know if you're aware, like uh, currently my wing strike is 51 because version 5.2 to release so everybody they don't I, I don't quit the games when I when I lose the game so that means I have constantly winning for 51 matches but that doesn't really help because after six matches the winning streak bonus is only 50 points so it doesn't, it doesn't increase come on blue Kampachi now we have blue Kampachi which is named Makrook and uh, I only use multiply 2 to see if I'm able to beat off. No, I'm not going to use the tech team. I will be crazy. Let's do this team. So my average attack is 1330. Let's see. Pay attention to Koga versus Blue Kampachi to see if it's Koga is the answer for Blue Kampachi. Blue Kampachi still stand well. Oh, because they have the they have this. Mm, they have Tsukushima, so he's a healer. Okay, did you see like Kampachi be weakened? I think this in this match, Kugadan do well. The, the majority is because Blue Kampachi be healed by Tsukushima. But I'm still managing to win this game and uh, and the Koga still survived. Because like when I when I have my PvP team uh, against the Blue Kampachi, usually the other team member will not be able to hold against the Kampachi. The only hope is have my Kampachi to wheels the versus their Kampachi. So there are no other Kampachi here. Let's refresh. 
hopefully we don't want to face another Kampachi with a healer in the team because that will be a nightmare. Try with this one. Good, there is no healer. Kampachi boost. You see that like, Kampachi is going stamina going down quick. I think in this battle, it shows the potential or the ability of this Koga. Let's do one more. There is two Kampachi. Let's try these two Kampachis. First one with this one. Neji. Uh, they have a healer. That's a problem. Because with the healer over there, I'm not able to tell. But Koga still holds well. Even with Isone's healing skill, he's still able to manage to pull down Kampachi. I think after these three games, for everybody have already seen what Kuga can do against the Kanbaji. So in my team, I have green Koga, blue Kanbaji, and a red. What's him? Queen Barrigan. So now everybody welcome the new PvP PvP beast, green Koga, to the game. Let's go ahead with the final one against this Malai Malakai to finish this video. We have Genjo, Blue Kanbachi, and the Anniversary Ichigo. Kanbachi be weakened. Oh, this Koga is so good because he can also weaken the, the, the opponent. So make him even more deadly against the other players. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. Thank you very much for your time for watching. And um, hopefully you make a better idea about whether or not you want someone for Koga. And uh, have a good night then. Bye-bye.